as many AI tools advancing every day like ChatGPT, Midjourney, or Dali, or design tools like Figma and Miro add AI feature to their platform, many designers start asking the same question. Will AI eventually replace us or empower us? So in this video, I'm going to dive deeper in this subject and try to understand whether the AI will help designers like you and me or try to replace us. Hello, my name is Elena and I'm senior product designer at Poly AI and also I am designing an AI platform. Let's start with what we mean by AI in product and UI UX design. Essentially, it's an algorithm that can help us in every step of our design process. For example, AI can help us with repetitive tasks like leaving comments or annotation on our mockups or resizing or creating some prototypes and some templates we can use. And at the same time, AI can help us to analyze a lot of data connected to user feedback or user's behavior and so on and so on. Sounds like magic, yes? But at the same time, this magic brings the anxiety to our design field. And now let's address the elephant in the room, the fear that AI eventually can take our job. And as a senior designer, I might say that AI is just a tool. It's not a decision maker. It doesn't have an empathy or creativity or this intuition or they cannot take some risks. So for now, there is quality that machines cannot replicate yet. Instead of replacing, AI can actually become a great ally. First of all, it speeds up our design process. It can help with wireframes, with prototypes, it can help us with annotation and everything that we spend hours of manual work on can be done by AI tools. Second, it enhances our creativity. Many designers feel stuck working on some problems and sometimes using AI tools can bring us fresh ideas and something that we can use as a baseline to start bringing and generating more and more ideas. Third, it enables the better decision-making process. And AI tools can analyze users' data, bring some insights that can help to refine your design. Most of the time, this process of analyzing data manually, it can take a lot. And AI tools can do it much more faster without any biases. So that's very nice. And number four, it actually can help you to collaborate with other teammates better. It can help you to translate your thoughts and your ideas to engineers and product managers. And it also can help to create arguments for any type of your teammates. And now let me share what AI tools and how I use them in my role at Poly AI. First of all, I use ChatGPT a lot. It helped me in creating UI copy for my interfaces because I'm not native to English. And sometimes I need to write very simple instructions for users so they will understand if they are not advanced. Or at the same time, I need sometimes to write something for more advanced users and my knowledge may not be perfect for them. In this case, ChatGPT helped me a lot to write the proper copy for my interfaces for a specific group of users. As I mentioned before, sometimes I also can have creative blogs, so ChatGPT also helped me to brainstorm some ideas. Usually I don't rely on all these ideas because I build specific interface and I don't have a lot of competitors and sometimes I just don't know where to go to find uh, the better solution, so ChatGPT helped me a lot. But I cannot rely on 100% on it. But still, it's something. It can help me to create new ideas based on the ideas that ChatGPT brought to me. I also use it to create some templates. By templates, I mean templates for UX testing or some interviews because most of the time you need to create basic questions for your interview and why should I create the same things again and again when I can ask ChatGPT to create template for my interviews based on all data that they already have. And also I use these templates as like baseline and then I need to continue working on this to improve, to make it more suitable for users that I'm going to talk with. 
I also rely on AI features on Miro because I gather feedback from our teammates or users on Miro and then I need to analyze this data. And also I don't use Midjourney in Dali because in my work I don't need to use them. We don't use any illustrations that can be made by Midjourney or I don't use anything else. Most of the time I use ChatGPT and Miro or Figma AI and that's it. You see, there is the key. AI is just a tool. It assists me. It doesn't make decisions instead of me. The ultimate responsibility still lies on me. I am the one who needs to align my design with business goal and user's feedback. And it's not an AI tool's responsibility. So what does it mean for you? What do we need to do in this AI-driven world to succeed? And that's simple. You just need to focus on skills that AI tools doesn't have. It's all about critical thinking and problem-solving skills. These skills are the most valuable and crucial for product designers or UI UX designers. Creativity and human empathy are irreplaceable. These skills are connect design with real human needs. To stand out, you need to learn how to treat AI tools as your partner and not something that you need to fear because it can enhance your work, it can speed up you and help with some basic things. And finally, focus on strategic skills like research, business alignment and also communicational skills. These are areas that we still can outperform machines and algorithms. Here is my takeaway. AI isn't going to replace product or UI UX designers, but it's redefining the way of our work. And designers who will embrace AI tools and will use it on a daily basis will work faster, be more creative, and will be better equipped to problem solving. And at the end of the day, this is the future of product or UI UX design. To be honest, I don't mind if AI will take some part of my job for example, it can take repetitive tasks like resizing something. Everyone saw Adobe presentation on resizing banners. So at the beginning of my career, I did it on my own, like manually. I spent weeks on resizing all these banners and Adobe can do it like in a few clicks. This is amazing. I wish I had it like 10 years ago. If AI tools going to take my job, my repetitive tasks, then I can focus on something creative. For example, I can focus on talking to users to learn something about their behavior, their patterns, their expectations. And I love to talk to users. And now I can spend more time on talking to them instead of resizing all possible icons on my platform. So why not? My advice to junior designers or someone who willing to switch their career path from any field to product designer is don't be afraid of using AI tools and try to use them as much as possible because AI tools, they're the best allies on your way to become a great product or UI UX designer. And don't give up. If this topic resonates with you, please share and comment what AI tools you use every day and what concerns do you have right now about AI field. If you like this video, don't forget to press on thumbs up and share this video with your fellow designers. And thank you so much for watching and keep designing.